what's up guys so we are shooting at a 4 by 3 aspect ratio and that is the theme of today's video why would you want to shoot in a square in a box let's find out The 4x3 or the 3x2 aspect ratio, which is more commonly known in cinema, well, in the cinema world, it does matter what aspect ratio you shoot at. But if you're a creator, YouTuber, you're probably shooting 16x9, most likely. If you're doing cinematic stuff, maybe DCI, which is like a 17x9 aspect ratio. Now, what are the benefits of shooting with this 4x3 or where is commonly known right now as open gate this open gate what is this nonsense well i'm not going to go into the details to explain what open gate is but i'm just here to tell you that um it's just fantastic it's basically where the camera shoots with the entire sensor and that's why the videos are usually in a square format because that's what the sensor shape is like and the recent cameras such as uh Panasonic, um, Sony, they have this open gate. I believe also other cameras like Blackmagic or RAW cinema cameras can do this. I don't have the particular list, but we don't care about those cameras. We care about the Canon USM, which is a cheap cinema camera that can shoot RAW DNG goodness. And as you can see, have a open gate like aspect ratio. Now the benefits of shooting with this 4x3 or technically it turns out being a 3x2 aspect ratio video is that we're able to still cropping without losing any quality whatsoever. We're still above the 1080p pixel range or above the 1080p dimensions. So basically this is uh, 1736 by 1158 Whereas if we were to shoot in 16 by 9, we will drop our pixels to like, I believe it's 876 or 970. Yeah, I think it was 976 pixels. So we're not losing quality going in this route and then later in post cropping in, which is fantastic. Meaning we're able to keep the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And if we have to adjust the composition, maybe move the camera a little bit up to get more headspace. Maybe we shot too low or the other way around lower the crop or actually lower the composition because maybe we shot too high and that's just the sweet thing about shooting in a 4x3 and of course there's also the creative side meaning we can keep it at 4x3 like a boxy kind of video and it gives us a very vintage vibe so if you're shooting like a vintage style video you want to create uh, some sort of a dreamy look or maybe like a flashback kind of scene this aspect ratio is great because you don't have to crop unnecessary pixels on pose you could just shoot natively in a box and keep all the pixels and lastly the great advantage of shooting in a 4 by 3 aspect ratio is that we can shoot for vertical videos or square videos that fit better on the screen on your smartphone or mobile social media um, apps such as Instagram and TikTok, Twitters, all of these can benefit from square or vertical videos. And you know, we can actually crop the sides to have a vertical video as well. So there are a lot of advantages of shooting with the 4x3, but the Canon SM, how does it look? Let's show you some B-rolls and see the sample images I have taken with this setup. It's a Canon ESM and actually the various lenses that I shot with, there's the 22mm f2 STM lens. I also shot with the TT Artisan 35mm f1.4 lens, which I love.
Recently, I did an engagement shoot and I shot exclusively with the open gate setting. It's not open gate, but I just want to call it that because it's just exciting. We got a nice square aspect ratio and I was able to crop and change the composition later in post because I did notice some shots were a little bit too high or too low. And it was just awesome to be able to adjust later in post and get the nice composition I wanted to or intended to shoot at in the first place. So guys, how did you like the B-roll? So if you guys like the video, I would really appreciate your thumbs up, sharing the video, liking, just smash that like button like a four by three aspect ratio. And let me know what you guys think about four by three. Is it cool? Is it nice? Is it useless? What do you all think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Happy shootings.